What's up guys? Welcome to your 170th Android tutorial for the new Boston. And I know I told you guys we'd render something in the last tutorial, and I kind of forgot about it. So just, uh, you know, we're going to get into that in this tutorial. So again, just to show you guys a little bit more about these methods and how we can use them, uh, we're going to render a few different times uh, just to get a, a better understanding of what's going on and some of the methods that we can use. Again, all of these methods have this uh, GL10 object that's being passed in. It's, all of them are, sorry about that, all of them are pretty much the same and we can relate to them and again, like I said, we can set some uh, specifics to them, what we want to handle, like if we want to have depth within our uh, GL uh, view and all that stuff. So let's just get into it. Um, what we're going to do first within our onCreate method is type out our GL object that's being passed in. We're just going to say dot GL clear color. And this is basically saying, hey, when you call the clear command, or actually this is basically just like setting uh, the color value for the most part. But what, is, what this clear is all about, you're probably like, what, why is it calling it to clear a color? Well, basically all it's saying is when you call the clear command, you know, send in this message. Tell them what's up. So what we're going to do is we're going to paint um, our background or our GL object that's being passed in. And how we do that is with four floats, a red value, a green value, a blue value, and an alpha value. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say uh, anywhere from 0 to 1. And let's give it a lot of red. Let's say like 0.8. And we're just going to say F for float. And for green, we don't want any green in there. Oh, man, green just isn't going to happen. And blue, what would that make? Like purple? Oh, we don't want any. Well, let's give it a little bit of blue, like 0.2 blue. So uh, again, we can go from 0 to 1. And for alpha, we don't want it to be transparent, but uh, so we're just going to set to 1. Again, you guys can, if you want transparency a little bit, you can set that to 0. If you, I mean, if you want a lot of transparency, set that to 0. And let's just, uh, call the clear method that I was talking about so we actually get to use this color thing and we're going to do that within our on surface create just for example and we're just going to re relate again to our GL10 object and all we're going to do is say GL clear and it takes a mask and what this mask is is there's different buffers uh, like there's a buffer to handle the color there's a buffer to handle the depth and stuff like that so what we're going to do is we're going to relate to our GL10 class whoops GL10. We're just going to say dot GL underscore color buffer bit, and that's going to handle basically our co color buffer and uh, all that good stuff. So let's run it and see what happens. And uh, just you guys are going to have to watch real closely, so just uh, make sure you take note. We're going to run this, and as you can see, it flashed that red and then it disappeared. So you're like, okay, what was the point of that? Well, basically what's happening is we call that within our onCreate method. So that's only going to be called once, right when our activity starts. And then we have this draw frame thing. So if we move this clear command down into our uh, draw frame and run it again, it should stay because every time it calls this, it's going to be like, hey, I'm clearing the color buffer. What color should I, you know, and tell me what to do and then that's what we set up within our onCreate method so again let's run it and as you can see it's just a solid red color um, pretty good pretty awesome that's what we want and uh, we can also add like depth so what we're gonna do is within again our onCreate method we're just gonna say GL relating again to that GL10 object and we're gonna say dot GL uh, clear again and this time we're gonna say depth of a float and by default it's going to be one um, that's what we're going to set it to I mean is one and again now when we call our clear command it's going to be like hey set the depth to this so uh, again right here on our on draw method we're calling the clear command but we have no reference to any sort of depth, depth buffer um, again there's different types of buffers so we need to add that within this clear command and how we do that is again I don't know what that symbol is uh, it's just basically a straight line and you just hit shift and it's the button above your enter key or your return key um, so just throw one of those in there and then again we're going to relate to our GL10 class dot 
uh, gl underscore depth bit or depth buffer bit. And so now it's going to be like, okay, now I know what buffer to you know clear um, with this command here, and that's what we're you know it's always going to be the same. So for the most part, uh, whatever we're going to just set our depth every time it it uh, calls the on on draw frame method and all that good stuff. So if for example you guys wanted to make a random color, you could uh, do that for homework or something, but you wouldn't want to do that within the on create method because you know it's not going to be a random color. So you have to move this down within our on draw method, create some sort of a random color um, like one through or zero through one or something like that, and you know set that up and then your buffer or your activity will just flash different colors. And so if you guys want some homework, just mess around with that. Uh, but as for now, we aren't going to go too fast because I, I've talked to a lot of people and they have trouble with uh, OpenGL. But just some basic concepts here. We set the color and we set the depth. And we have to you call the clear command um, and refer to the buffers that we want to handle those. So pretty simple tutorial. Uh, but uh, you know that's pretty much an introduction to the renderer. We're going to get into a lot more stuff with this renderer. Um, so don't worry about that. And I'll catch you guys in the next tutorial. Have a good one.